motion of a ball on an inclined track. Materials required Inclined track A ball A metronome Book Principle Consider a ball on inclined plane. Such a ball will be acted upon by gravitational force, normal force and frictional force. Gravitational force always acts downward. Normal force acts always perpendicular to the surface where object is placed. When we resolve the gravitational force, one component acts along an inclined surface. Another component is opposite to the normal force. The frictional force acts opposite to the motion of ball. mg sin theta component of force provides the necessary acceleration g sin theta for the object to roll down the surface. Therefore, the net force acting on the ball along the inclination f is equal to mg sin theta minus fs. As friction along the path increases, the force acting along the inclined surface decreases. A steeper incline gives larger mg sin theta. Procedure Make an inclined plane of about 50 cm length with 2-3 cm height at the raised end. Take a metronome. Let it produce sound signals at intervals of half seconds. Keep the ball at the higher end of one of the inclined planes. Figure D 2.1 Motion of a ball on a double inclined plane. Release it at any signal which may be called zeroth signal and observe its position at 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th signals after the release. Observation The distances covered by the ball in successive intervals go on increasing by equal amounts when the ball rolled down the incline. Conclusion the ball moving on an inclined track covers successively longer distances in equal intervals of time. This shows that the speed of the ball increases as it moved down an inclined plane.